Hi everybody, it's Mike again. I'm gonna go through and show you how to change out an electrode kit on the IntelliHot wall hung or any of the, the larger units as far as the electrode kit, they're all the same. I've already taken the six screws out. I've taken the, shut the fuel off, cut my hot and cold inlet and outlet water. Uh, I've unplugged it, so I'm ready to go. Basically, simple little process. We're going to remove this electro or the uh, display board, get it out of our way. And the part that we're actually going to change out is right here that I'm pointing at. Got a couple screws, got a ground, a little spark, got our little electrical wire there. Um, we don't ever want to let that wire rub up against stuff, so we're going to fix that one. Basically, you got to have a couple little tools. One is a long number two Phillips screwdriver. I'm just going to drop it right in here and remove that screw. This one's still a little warm where I've been running it, but be careful if, you, if it was running and you're going to change it out. You're not always uh, changing them out because something's messed up. It might be just to take it out to clean it or anything, but we're going to replace it for this purpose. We have one little zip tie that holds around this white wire right here, sending the uh, signal back for our flame sensor. I'm going to cut that loose so I can take it out of the equation. Let's slide this thing out of the way here. Very simple little job, and it is still warm. So is the engine. Okay. Here's what they've done for us in this kit. They send you an exploded view of the diagram of how to put it back together. We've got our new electrode. We have a new seal, our gasket, and two new screws, two washers, and a new wire. You have to pick this part up on your own at an auto parts store or something to be able to replace it. Keep those wires intact. So as far as what we're gonna do, we're gonna stick this in here. You can see the, the holes don't line up very well that way. If you notice that hole it has an offset, so does this hole here. So make sure that you line those holes up. Guess what? I'm gonna have to rotate it. Try it until you get it, but if you're smart enough, you might be able to get it the first time. But now you can see the holes. I just wanted to demonstrate there is a pattern to this. You wanna stick the screws into the washers here, get those ready to drop into this back side. If you remember our wire was toward the front with our ground, I'm gonna start back here line this one up so I can make sure I don't damage the seal. Okay, let's go back to the unit here. I'm going to drop it back down in place. Remember the white wire is closest to you, you know, where you're standing. All right, let's see if I can get my screwdriver in here and see what I'm going to do. That screw doesn't feel like it's wanting to go in there very straight. Let's try it right there. there it goes. Okay, just take your time with them. If you use power tools on these fine threaded screws, you're going to wind up having a problem with the uh, casting or something, maybe wearing out on you. You won't be able to get it back in. how you that one started screwdriver not in such a bind I'm not going to torque this down very tight but I am going to make it snug we just don't want to tear anything up okay all right I'm liking that next we have our little white wire for our signal sending the millivolt amps back to the board proving that we have the flame there. I 
there. Now, we want to do the zip tie on that wire to make sure nothing touches anything or rubbing. So I'm going to capture all these wires together. Squeeze them up, keep them from rubbing everything. And then I'm going to snip that end off to be able to keep it nice and neat. Now, looks like what they did at the factory. Now we have our new wire. Let's go right here. Push that on. To make sure this clicks. All right. Make sure this doesn't touch anything, rubbing up against it, tearing it up over time. We'll reinstall our, our screen bracket here. Just like that, pretty simple. And then we don't want to forget to plug this back into our board for our display. And basically, that's how simple it is to replace that electrode. If you have any more questions, call the plant, talk to them. The tech guys there will help you, and the ladies. So uh, thank you for your time. Have a good day.